But we can't forget that Snoop is also a grandpa and loves mm. spoiling his grandkids. So his recent comments, he's like rubbing his hands. He is ready for this one. His recent comments about being a grandpa are teeing up today's topic for What's the Buzz. Uh, to talk about life as a grandpa, we are joined by former Live in the D Floor director, Randy Henry. You might also know him as Big Randy. Also me, a professional me. grandfather of four. And also with us, we have brand new grandpa, Blaine Fowler from Blaine and Lauren on 96.3 WDVD. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This He's, is exciting. He still Get has ready. baby powder on him. I do. Yeah. His grandbaby's only six, six months. Six weeks. Six, six weeks. weeks. And I just saw her picture. She's adorable. Adorable. But this conversation is inspired by something that the one and only Snoop Dogg recently talked about while appearing on the Today Show with Hoda and Jenna. So take a look and then we'll see what we think. Okay. When the parents are out of town, the kids can do whatever they want to do with grandpa and grandma because it's our time with them. So grandma, grandpa, keep bending the rules for your grandbabies because they're going to love you forever and they're going to always share secrets with you and they're going to feel like they have a safe space with you. Oh. Let the parents keep being those mean <laughs> wall, putting up barriers. You don't have any barriers. You're grandma and grandpa. Yeah. That how you do it? My grandkids, they know I got a bowl of candy when they come over. I got video games. I got whatever they want. Wow. So do you guys agree? Disagree? Uh, Should you spoil your grandkids? Is that the job of grandparents? The well, I mean, I'm, so, so I have four grandkids. Yes. Madison's nine. I have two seven-year-olds, uh, Simone and EJ, and then I got Rye Pie. They climb all over my couch. I would never let my kids climb over my couch. Mm -hmm. this, that's my team. We're at, we're at the zoo right there. They climb over my couch. They dirty my house up. And so I never make them pick up after themselves, which is really not a good thing. But uh, maybe when they get a little bit older. That's a double that. standard, though. That's it why, is. you know, but people I, I know they, get irritated with their parents. Like, you would have tore my butt up for doing this yes, or that. And yes. the kid, you know, their own children yeah, can run care. wild, but you don't care. Hey, it's crazy. Tell them, we don't, we don't, we don't care. care. But you're not the parent anymore. We're not the parent You're not the anymore. parent. When you, when I was the parent, you could, you know, when I was the parent, there was a different rule. Now you're their friend. Now yeah. you're the grandparent. Yeah. I, I, but we're the cool the people. The great parent. We are the yeah. coolest people they'll ever meet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. Which is sad for them, but you know, there you, you know go. What? This is I mean, because here, well, here's the thing, you know, uh, my grandbaby wanted to go to a dance, and her dad said she can't go. She said, Papa, will you take me? No problem. You know, I mean, oh, so, I mean, I'm you, not you, doing that. You, no, I am not crossing Randy my daughter. Randy does not care. Huh? <laughs> I'm not crossing my daughter. Man, don't be scared. You, 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 so you, let's talk you, about your brand new grandbaby. Yeah. She's six weeks old, Piper. Piper. She's the cutest. So I got in trouble with Bailey already. So you did? We, well, yeah, I did. I, I, I let her nap on me for three hours. Okay. Colleen ran the vacuum and the baby didn't wake up. That ain't my fault. There she is. Oh. Little, she little shouldn't have pie. to wake up. She shouldn't. She You're shouldn't. Right. Come on. And then I took a nap at some point. I don't know if we had the picture or not, but oh my God. That is hilarious. It's, the it's adorable. Best. It's the best, and baby snuggles are the best thing in the world. Yeah, but she smells so good. She smells so yeah. good, and then she got a little sweaty, and it reminded me of when Bailey was a baby, and I'm like, oh. this is awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll do this all day, every day, and twice could, on Sunday. She could throw up on you at that age. Oh, I don't care. And not be a problem. It's Yeah. All right, well, going back and forth, I got a question. How is your approach to grandparenting different than your approach <laughs> to parenting? Oh, like, oh yeah. yeah. I was like a drill sergeant by comparison. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I didn't allow it. I'm going to give you a real short story. Some guy gave my daughter a sweater when she was mm. 15 in high school. Okay. And I lost it. Yeah. I went up to the school. I'm in the hallway with the sweater in my hand. Where's this kid at? And I'm going crazy. The principal comes and says, Mr. Henry, you got to come in here because you, you're not a teacher here. Not. Yeah, yeah. But I said, my daughter doesn't deserve this sweater. <gasps> I said, so you take this back if you want to give her a dollar or something. But my kids, they said, Daddy, you. Restrictions, restrictions everywhere. But now, but now, it's living love in the loca at the wow. Henry household. That's why he calls himself professional grandpa. I That's guess. That's shocking. I know. Especially if you if you ten and under, well nine and under, you can get away with anything. I mean, yes. I, know, I know your kids look at you like, did you just let this happen? I mean, what the, the biggest thing, like like, like I'm <laughs> he saying. Knows it's true. 
because, <laughs> you know, uh, when, jumping on the couch, my, my, my yeah. grandson, Eric, takes a running start, leaps on the couch. What? My, <laughs> my son said, start. Dad, you ain't gonna stop him? No, nah, I'll leave him alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. I, I don't. This is, this is why I love talking to you because you've been doing this for a while. And I'm brand new to this, and I cannot wait. I sent my daughter some some video over the weekend. This kid at a store saying they wanted to buy this giant teddy bear. Sure. Dad said no, but then Grandpa said yes. Of and there's a giant teddy That's bear hilarious. being pulled into the car. Yeah, I can't that, wait. That's hilarious. All right. You're going to cross your daughter. I'm telling you right now. When when, when your cross her? When when your he does not grandbaby care. gets <laughs> older, well, I know I do care. Do you? Okay. I mean, angry you scared. Not you scared. Is that a good thing? No, it's not good. <laughs> I get it. All right. So as a grandparent, do you guys give parenting advice? or do you wait to be asked for advice? Is it hard not to chime in? I try not to, I fail. Um, I, I will throw some advice around whether you ask or not. If you spend more than, you know this. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You spend 10 minutes with me, I'll probably be like, oh, or you could, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, I can all, see it's all good advice. I, I, yeah. So, I try to, I stay out, I stay, I in, my, stay, I stay out. in my lane, um, yeah. you know. But I could see you saying, you know, hey, remember when you were nine? Like I can Ooh. see you, I can see you doing you that. Could do that. Ooh. No, I'm, you know, but I'm, I'm just saying, just ease up on them. You know, I, I'm, I'm not going to tell them how to raise their kids. I, I really don't. Uh, my so wife. So do you think you were was, too strict back in the uh, day? I think I was. Okay. Okay. I mean, yes. You know. So it's a learning opportunity. He was. For I was your there. Kids. I, I, I was scared. <laughs> Here's my other short story. So my daughter goes to her first Sweet Sixteen party. She says, "Daddy, you gonna take me?" I said, "No problem." So I'm upstairs showering, and getting dressed. Mm -hmm. She said, where are you going? I said, I'm going to the party. I don't know these people. So I'm at the party. I'm having a good time. I stayed for about an hour before I left. And I said, meet me in the lobby at 1130 while I'm coming in there. I pull up 11.15, she's already she, sitting she, out She's there. not crazy. She knows what's good she for knows. her. Well, you know. You feel the same way. I feel like you didn't mess around. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, well, that happened. Con congratulations to the grandchildren for having a much more soft and gentle experience. Yes. These gentlemen are in their soft era. Yes, we are. We love that for Very. you. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you. Appreciate you. Big Randy can't stop smiling. I love it. <laughs>